Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the 17th video in our series on building a chess engine from scratch in the Java programming language. In this video, we're going to focus on the player class as well as the two concrete subclasses of player, white player and black player. So um, they will be, uh, we will be keeping track of the white player and the black player in the board. So let's go ahead and declare that here. Final private final white player white player private final black player black player and it's not clear now why these need to be different classes yet but uh, they are they are going to be related by a, by a, a common super class um, so Let's come down here and we're going to say this dot white player oops, wait this dot white player is equal to new white player we're gonna pass in the board and we're gonna pass in both the white standard legal moves and the black standard legal moves we're gonna need both the legal moves of both players for each player that we construct in order to um, well you'll see uh, it's really going to be for the um, determination of the uh, legal castle moves so but uh, that will be deferred for a future video so uh, bear with me here uh, white this dot black player is equal to new black player pass in the board and we're going to pass in again the white standard legal moves and the black standard legal moves. Okay, so all right, let's do let the IDE help us out here. We're going to create this class white player, and the destination for this is not going to be in the board package. It's going to be com engine player and hopefully it will create that for us yes it did great so there's now a player package with white player in it and same thing here okay great so now we have these uh, the player classes well excuse me we have the black player and white player classes and for each of these, we're going to say that they extend player. Um, extends player. We'll need to create this class. Okay. Right, but th this is still complaining because we don't, the ID is telling us we don't have this constructor. So let's then go ahead and create that constructor. All right, let's let the ID help us again here and create the constructor okay all right great what did I do extends there we go so at this point we shouldn't have any compiler errors anymore um, but we will have some work to do so first, let's go to our player class and let's talk about what this is going to be. This is going to be an abstract class. So let's say public abstract class player and um, we're going to want to keep track of the board. Let's declare protected final board. The board on which the, the, the you know, the players playing and 
the player also is going to want to keep track of its king. So let's say protected final king player king. Right? It's, like, it's a special piece that we're going to want to keep track of. It's going to have some state on it that it currently does not. And protected final collection of moves. Legal moves. Okay. For now, I think that's going to be good. And let's come down here and declare the constructor. Final board board. Final collection of move player. Or let's call it legal moves. Final collection of move opponent moves. Okay. And let's say this dot board is equal to board. That's passed in. This dot player king is going to be equal to, and we're going to write a method called establish king and uh, this dot legal moves is equal to legal moves. Uh, that's not quite right, so let's fix that. It's legal moves. Okay, uh, so let's create this method here. Create method. All right, so this method is just going to ensure that um, there is a king for the player on the board. Otherwise, you know, we're not really in a... Uh, legal state for the game. So let's go and say for final piece, piece, and get my active pieces. Get active pieces. I don't know if I've created this method yet or not. Um, if the piece, get piece type. is king, the piece is a king, then return that piece as a king. So we'll have to cast, which is a bit of a code smell, but it's not too bad. Uh, all right, so get active, but this is telling us is that get active pieces is not a method that's known to the player class. So we're going to introduce this and um, say public abstract collection of piece, get active pieces. And now, um, okay, so now let's see. We need to go to each player and implement that method because it's abstract. So on the, we're just going to say return, did I, this? Yeah, I did record that. So let's say this dot board dot get black pieces. So now we have to look at the board class right on the board <clears throat> remember we said that we have we are keeping track of the white pieces and the black pieces so now we just have to have to have a way of extracting those um, so let's write a method called public collection of piece get black pieces return this dot black pieces Let's do the same thing for the white pieces. Public collection 
of piece get white pieces return this dot white pieces okay so now that will work and this is complaining because we extend player and we're not calling the superclass constructor so let's just uh, let me see did I on player I do have that so let's call super with board white standard legal move I'm the black player so it's gonna be black standard legal moves white standard legal moves so let's look what did I do here on the player classes constructor the first argument is the player's legal moves and the second argument is the opponents opponent moves right so the black player is going to the black player's legal moves are the black standard legal moves and the white player's legal moves super board are going to be the white standard legal moves okay so let's go ahead and implement this method and for white we're gonna say this dot board dot get white pieces really nice okay so let's come back to player uh, piece did not have defined on it the get piece type method right <clears throat> so let's go to piece and see we have this piece type enum declared um, but we're not capturing the piece type right so let's go ahead and introduce that and say protected final piece type piece type and let's pass that in final piece type piece type okay so now we're passing that in um, and we're gonna say this dot piece type is equal to piece type and we're gonna have a method on here that will return the piece type public piece type get piece type return this dot piece type and I think this yeah so now right so now this is gonna break all of the pieces because we're now passing in a new argument okay so let's walk through and um, fix that uh, so this is going to be piece type king for the king this is going to be piece type bishop for the bishop this is going to be piece type knight for the knight piece type pawn and uh, piece type queen did I miss any? yeah the rook piece type rook okay let's see we got one more compiler error here oh is king right so on pieces piece type we didn't define a method called is king and so we're going to go back to the piece and on piece type uh, what we'll do is we will introduce some me one method here and it'll be abstract public abstract boolean is king right uh, so I do this to sort of prevent us from having to cast 
and what we can do is implement the method for each one of these right it will be false for everything except for the king it'll return true for the king right and we'll go back and look at that establish king method and we'll stop at that point okay so now go return true so all of these enums <clears throat> is king method is going to return false except for the king right so let's go back here okay great i think what other compiler errors do we have ah so <clears throat> in established king we're going to go through all of the player's active pieces we're going to um, see if the piece is the king, and if it is, we're going to return it. If we get through this entire loop and we were not able to establish the king, we're going to throw a runtime exception, okay? Basically saying, you know what, this board that you've set up, it's invalid. It doesn't, uh, it's not, it doesn't correspond to a legal chess state, a chess game state. So let's say throw new runtime exception. Oop. Should not reach here. This dot get. Oh, let's just say it should not reach here for now. Not a valid board. Right? Okay. So uh, I think I want to stop here. Um, we will continue in the next video to talk about all of the important methods on the player class, the most important one being make move. Thanks, guys.